Hi everybody. I'm in my office, as you can tell. I just want to take a minute to um, show you some things that my mom bought for me when I was younger. I found these in my office as I was digging. And um, some of the topics here include D-Day, San Francisco earthquake, facts about John Dellinger, George Catlin, the Gibson girl, Babe Ruth. Um, but after watching Django last night, I got more interested in this. So I um, came home and rumbled through my office until I found these old relics that used to go with my Encyclopedia Britannica. Um, I came to a couple of them that were very interesting. I used to have one on Nat Turner's Rebellion. Here's one on the black man, the life of the slave, the struggle for equality, um, Sitting Bull, the Chicago Fire, um, the Civil War, the Battle of Richmond, um, discussion about Ulysses Grant, um, and a host of other ones. The Louisiana Purchases here, Benedict Arnold's Treason, um, and... The assassination of President Lincoln. And those who truly believe that Lincoln freed the slaves by signing the Emancipation Proclamation. Um, if we look here, we find a segment of the truth, also in the movie as well. Um, the discussions about the first Thanksgiving is here. And this one is very interesting because a lot of us um, celebrate Thanksgiving, as I do. But it talks here about how the uh, colonists in Plymouth could not survive. And the Indians actually helped them to survive. And then they turned around and basically enslaved and imprisoned the Indians and put them on a reservation. So um, we already knew that. We just didn't put it in that context. You know, so when we um, believe that the Indians are happy to have been uh, placed on these reservations when they were here first. I think I even have one here that says uh, Columbus discovered America. Yeah, Columbus discovers America. One of the more interesting ones in the 15th century. Um, but it says Columbus had actually discovered a tiny island in the Bahamas, which was later, later named San Salvador. Convinced that he had reached the Indies, however, he dubbed the half naked. Excuse me. Alwyn's uh, and the voyages here. Any which way talks about the Nina and the Pinta and the Santa Maria. But just interesting reads. That I was able to discover in my office. Thank you.